Everything that you see today has an image. It may be smooth or contemporary. It may be bright or dull. It may even have a catchy slogan. Symbols of all colours, shapes and sizes appear right in front of you as the world goes by, signifying their role in modern society without you even noticing. This identity, as you may call it, reveals how specific things are recognisable to the human eye, which, just so happens, allows each and every icon, whether it be hundreds, if not thousands a day, to stand out amongst the rest. It may draw you towards a shop window, or you stop and stare at an advert on a billboard, and before you know it, you have bought something that is stamped with the symbols and imagery. But why does this happen? And how is it that sometimes you cannot control the urge to buy something? What is the secret to success? Welcome to the world of branding. Building a brand, it's much more than just the the, the visual element. Um, I mean, I could tell stories with brands and bring the the offering, service, product, whatever it is, to the forefront. And uh, there's many ways that we do that to to uh, help the clients, and that's through language, uh, tone of voice for a brand that we create, um, name generation for startup businesses that might have a name. And then stories can build, and that's how the brand, that's the difference between a brand and a, and a logo really, you know, the logo is what you see, um, and a logo can be seen just as plain as on black and white, but um, when we're selling a brand or creating a brand, um, it's much, uh, there's much more thought in it, um, in terms of developing language, uh, you know, a lot of research goes into a brand creation as well as um, creating the likes of brand guidelines and visualizing everything for the customer. To me, Marketing is about values. This is a very complicated world. It's a very noisy world. And we're not going to get a chance to get people to remember much about us. No company is. And so we have to be really clear on what we want them to know about us. You may not know this, but branding has an indirect impact on almost every human, in almost every community, and in every city globally. From the shoes you wear to the games you play, branding is everywhere. Passing the test of time, this marketing strategy has been in use since before the Industrial Revolution, while branding itself dates even further back to almost five millennia. But not all brands turn out to be a marketing phenomenon. If the brand does not catch on, then it will eventually be forgotten, left in the dust of its competitors. So there's always going to be bumps in the road for brands, but of course it's not going to be like a weird apocalyptic society ever where there's just no brands and things like that because you need to, you need to be able to sell yourself and sell your story and get people Branding has a specific method in which it entices the consumer into buying goods. Usually, people think a brand is a logo, a stamp or an image, but it is much more than that. Brands such as Coca-Cola actively focus on the brain's ability to react to certain aspects that increase marketing strength. Aspects such as packaging, logo, slogans, 
jingles, pricing. Each of these pieces of the marketing puzzle work in tandem to boost productivity for the company. But what they're doing is that they're concentrating more and more on something which is called brand storytelling, which is, it's not just the commercial itself, it's everything that's going around the commercial, such as social media and so on and so forth, and telling a story. In 1911, a newspaper editor named Tess Flanders was quoted discussing journalism and publicity, stating the phrase, use a picture, it's worth a thousand words. Well, little did he know at the time, but over a century later, Mr. Flanders could not be any more right with his statement. As the world is dominated with images and symbols, now more than ever. And branding is the primary culprit. We now know that the identity of a business does not solely rely on the logo or symbols that people are drawn to. But what we do know is that they hold the key in unlocking the consumer's way of thinking. It is that simple. But how does branding affect a human subconscious? Well, to summarise it, the brain is at the forefront of aspects of branding, whether it is colour, shapes or even sounds. This is how a consumer is able to associate themselves with a brand. Each brand stimulates multiple senses of the human body simultaneously in order to strengthen brand relationships. However, it is the brain that connects stimulation from brand strategies with cognitive thinking. Each person on this planet has the ability to choose, the ability to focus, and the ability to react. Our brains are producing information so fast and so frequently that it does not actually alert us to these happenings. The subconscious mind allows humans to complete tasks without the rest of the body having total awareness of this. When a person purchases an item they did not originally intend to purchase, the subconscious is affected. This is known as priming, which essentially means some of the brain's specific goals or motives are activated in response to certain stimulus. This plays a major part in consumerism as priming is utilized in specific marketing techniques known as sensory branding, which, as the name suggests, utilizes the primary senses to relate with consumers on an emotional level. Apple, their primary sense of consistency is touch. Every product is meticulously designed to provide satisfaction with every button press and with every screen swipe. Modern society has advanced at such a substantial rate that images are the primary source of communication. Conversation through social media has never been more menial. Emojis have taken the world by storm, which is somewhat making the art of speech more and more redundant. Children are taught to read through recognising images and relating them to words, and that is how we've all been taught. It is how humans as a species have accustomed themselves to reality. Shopping falls under the same pattern, recognising brands and relating them to products. So what does the world of branding have in store for us next? We will just have to wait and see. <laughs>